you for being who God created you to be. The main thing is that you must know who you are. Oh yes. If you don't know who you are, then they would have a they will try to stop you because they think that they have power over your life. Please hear me and hear me clearly. The moment, please listen. The moment that Christ hit the earth, he had warfare. The moment that Christ hit the earth, he had warfare as a baby. Why would the enemy try to stop a baby? Because he's not looking at your present. Come on. Your present doesn't intimidate him. Mm. It is your future oh that he wants to stop you from getting to. I need those of you that are in this building that know that greater is within you to open your mouth and declare, my ladder will be greater. friends so church was so good today he was really so good so now I'm on my way you guys remember last week when I was talking about how I was supposed to go to an investment club but it was really on the 17th so today's the 17th so actually I'm going to the correct minute at this time the only thing is that it's at another church and they start the meeting like as soon as church ends and I think their church and my church ends at the same time. Oh my God, you guys are leaving. You're far away. Oh God. So, the only thing is that, yeah. So, my friend just said that they haven't started yet. So, hopefully, you know, they don't start until probably 1.30. That would be so good for me because I'll be able to get there on time. Um, but, yeah. So, and then today is like really a busy day. Like, your girl actually got moves. I got plans, y'all. Like, your girl got moves. Like, literally, I'm such a, like a homebody. But now today, I got plans. Like, I just travel all around Chicago. So, I just went to church. I'm going to the investment club, you know, just to be around people who are also interested in investing and having residual income. And then after that, I'm going to I Am Beloved's um, goal setting um, seminar. And that's going to be interesting to be around like-minded women who know that, you know, that there are bound to be, oh, this guy looked like he was finna jump in front of my car. I don't got time to be paying any medical bills because you want to act stupid. But yeah, it's for women that, you know, that just want to, that just know that, you know, their ladder is going to be greater. And, you know, just to be around, like, just you know like my name women so it's gonna be cool and that starts at 4 30 so basically now oh my god it's 1 26 head into the church and then it's all the way in indiana so from chicago i have to go to indiana and that is going to be 43 minutes away from where i am and then after that um i used to play softball like when i was yeah i used to play softball for, softball for a long time and um, some of my old teammates from, I think the first team that I played, so literally it had to be when I was like nine, 10, they hit me up and they're like, hey, do you wanna go to the like the bar, you know, to hang out? And I'm like, oh, you know, that's cool. Usually, y'all, I promise you, I'm not a bar type of person. I don't drink, I don't smoke, but, let's see, okay. But, you know, I have to live life. Like, you know, it's break now. So let me live, you know, meet other people, just bond with other people, so after, the goal setting from 4 30 to 6 30 they said that they're going to the bar around um around seven so literally i'm just on the road like i actually have plans i'm so excited and it's cool that i'm vlogging because you guys are gonna be along with me but yeah well, ooh, 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 god let me go oh shoot i hope they didn't take my picture shoot hope they didn't take my picture you guys are probably like, what happened? So basically I was just driving and then it went yellow and I didn't know what to slow down because I was because so, I was already close. And then it went red. So hopefully they didn't have any lights. Because if I would have stopped, I would have been literally in the middle of the street. But yeah, I'm excited for today. 
and stuff like that. Slight left. But how is your day going? I'm so tired, but I'm excited for today. Also, because you guys know I'm, well, I don't know if I talk to you guys about this. I always like mention it, but I'm trying to like be healthier, work out every day and stuff like that. And um, I'm trying to also save money too. So literally I packed a lunch and snacks or whatever. Literally your girl came prepared for today. The only thing that I have to buy is like dinner because I'm literally gonna be out this whole day. But your girl has snacks, I have my lunch, I have, you know, good stuff. And it's just cool that, you know, I came prepared. Like you could also travel around Chicago, travel around the city and still be prepared too. To be very, very big. You want to make sure that you don't, if anything happens to your income, you don't, so think of it this way. If your expenses in a month are 10,000, oh sorry, 1,000, right? And you're saving only a hundred dollars, right? If you are out of work, right? For three months, just three months, what you have saved for about two and a half years is gone. You don't want to be there. It tells you risk. So understanding what those numbers are saying on the pages what the, you, is more important than actually doing the budget. Those numbers, what are they telling you? Where is my risk? If, you know, you, you know you're in a, a happy place if, if you work three months, right? Anything you save over three months can get you through one month. You're pretty okay. Some people like better risk. Some people can do off, do off with, with worse. But what they're saying is this. If I, if I work all year, right, I could pretty much go for four or five months without a job and I won't be homeless. If you have three months. If you can save every, every three months savings makes up your expenses for one month which means your ratio, which is your income over your expenses, right, 33%. Now, I'm not giving you that number as a number that you should strive for, right? Some people strive for better, some people should strive for a little worse. And it all depends on what stage of life you are, right? What you have as backup. If, you have, if you've been doing great over the number of years and have a lot of money stocked away, then that number could be a little higher because you have something to fall back on. Right? So these ratios, knowing what these are, will help you. So if there's nothing you take away from this room, know what your expected savings rate. If you know what your expected savings rate is, you know what you can afford and what you can afford you can't afford in any month. That way, you will never unintentionally put yourself in a situation where you're going negative in any month. Like I said, it might happen. You might have some unexpected bills or something, you know, something that came up, but you won't intentionally go do it to yourself. So if a friend comes, you know, let's go on this cruise, you know, it's great, the last time I went, you know, this and that, you know, it's going to be 2,100, you know, it could, you know, immediately whether you can afford it or not. So you expect the savings should be enough to cover for a three months? No, what I'm saying is, depending on how much, how much you already have or don't have, you want that number to be as big as possible. Your, and the number I'm talking about is a ratio. Your savings rate over your monthly expenses. So starting from zero. Starting from zero, I, I would say, hoping to make a three months, three months a year will be fine. Three months will cover, you. every three months you can take one month off if you had to. You understand what I mean? That's, that's, you know, that's what it means. So calculating your income, just uh, figuring out within three months how much you would need for your expenses and save toward that, you have to fill off. So in your budget, you're going to have your income, right? Mm -hmm. You're going to have your expenses, right? And then you're going to have your expected savings, right? If you take those, that expected savings and divide it by your expenses, you're going to come up with the ratio. If it's 0.33, 
it, what that's saying is every three months you have, you have you've saved enough to cover your expenses for another month. But it just showed you what type of risk you have. Okay, so hey best friend, so now I'm at the event and it's so pretty in here. Hopefully I don't get copyrighted for the music in the background. This is hope. But let me show you guys how it looks. It's so pretty. Has beloved right there. And then look at the accent on the chairs, y'all. Then look at this centerpiece. It's so it's so pretty. But literally, it's, I think it's gonna be a good event. The only thing I'm so pressed about because I tried to edit some of my clips for the vlog that should be coming out today. And literally, the clip didn't wanna, like, I don't know, something's wrong with that clip. And I'm just thinking about throwing the whole video away, but I'm trying so hard because I want to produce content for all of the days on the YouTube. But let's just hope that I get that in order. Best friend, guess who I see here? I did not even know she's coming. Let me start it up. Hey, how are you guys? You making this cute? Look, look, look. <laughs> how are you? Look at girl. Girl, that was a strong hug. You were like, it's okay. Look who I see here. Look who I see here. You are going to be in my vlog. Purpose filled and purpose focused goals and how to set those goals. Um, it is truly my desire and of course it's not, I don't have the say so on this, but it's truly my desire to do more of these next year that are focused on a particular um, area. So those who want to own businesses, who wants to own a business or who already owns a business right now and wants to learn a little bit more or who's in blogging or wants to do more about blogging or anything, all these different areas is definitely my desire to want to do more, but we'll see what the Lord says. But um, so tonight uh, I asked in the blog I wanted to do in their life. And when I was little, my mom, she used to sew all of my clothes. And then when I was little, I would like cut up a sock, like a tube sock and make clothes for my Barbie doll. And so after that, mm. I was like, you know what, like, Claude, you already got this. Like, why are you trying to do that? This extra stuff. So I went to school for fashion design and I graduated a couple years ago, but it's exactly what I like to do because it's beyond clothing. It's just being, being able to create, mm -hmm. create something out of, I mean, just like a cloth. Like I can make a dress out of this fabric or whatever it may be, but it's already in you when you are a child. It's not something usually, usually it's when you're a child, not when you're like 25 and like, that's good. That's I don't know good. what I'm doing my life. That's it's that's already good. there. Right. That's, you, that's a valid, especially when it's a child, when you're a child. I was talking with my coworkers about cultivating certain things in your children when they're young. Mm -hmm. um, when I was younger, my mama would tell you, I was very weird. I wrote plays. It is weird. I was like, yeah. I was telling my classes, like, this is who you're going to play. And they're like, where are you um, <laughs> So I wrote plays, I wrote stories, I used to have notebooks, I used to write stories and write poetry. I did that as a young, as a young girl. And like you said, it's already in you. Mm -hmm. It's our don't, don't focus on becoming someone for the money. Money is gonna come. Amen. And that was my Freak. focus when I was in college. I swore up and down I was gonna be a paid rich nurse. And I can tell you I couldn't have done it. But I know that. That's not what I, I was really called to do or what I knew, what I love to do. I love helping people, you know, but right in a different way. And it's also when you love doing something, you're going to put in the time and effort to do it. Mm -hmm. I wasn't going to put in the time and effort to do because that. Because we get a lot, of, especially in this generation, but I want to spend the time. I want to spend the time. Like, I'm not saying money's good. Money's good. A lot of people don't really want to be a nurse. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I'm glad we elaborate on that. 